you need to make a 3% solution. And make sure you mix it up real good. And you want to be very sensitive and careful when you do this. Hey fish friends, Zenzo Tazawa Tanks. And you're watching Hat Nation. What's up guys? Back with another video. Smash the sub button, ding the notification bell for notifications on the channel. Instagram link in the description. And shout out to my gang gang notification game. Internal parasites are one of the most dreaded infections in the aquarium hobby. This surgery is really intense, so if you have a weak stomach, I suggest that you don't watch. I'm also gonna show you guys how to make medicated fish food to save your sick fish that may be dying. All you need are a few simple things. Guys, those items are gonna consist of, as you can see here, this three ounce container, all right? API General Care Epsom salt. You can use garlic powder, but I prefer the organic brand from Whole Food Market, or you can just simply use C Kim Garlic Guard. And I prefer to use glass containers. All right. The reason for the two measuring spoons is the two measuring sizes. One is because you're going to measure the amount of salt that you're putting into the food. You're also going to measure the amount of API general care that you're putting into the food. Typically, I like to use one pack. There is no real way of measuring the ideal amount that's needed, but this recipe works fine for me. I have been using it for years. The Epsom salt acts as a mild laxative, which helps the fish past the internal parasites. General Cure is the actual medication that treats the parasite. General Cure is both Metro and Praziquantel together. It is 250 milligrams of Metro and 75 milligrams of Praziquantel. Now, in the event that you have the parasite, the calamaris worms, both of these medications will be ineffective you will have to use something like phenobendazole, which is ideal for the treatment of the calamaris parasite. Now, you're only going to want to put enough water in here to saturate the food. You don't want to over flood the container. And make sure you mix it up real good, as you can see here. You're going to want to wait three to four hours later to allow the food some time to air dry. You can feed this right after, but I prefer mine to air dry three to four hours later. And here's what you have when it has air dried. Here's where it gets really intense. Okay, guys, as you can see here, I have the critter cage. I'm going to get these guys out of the aquarium put them both in the in the critter cage and then we're going to head on over and medicate both fish all right you two both of these guys are out of the aquarium look at how huge they are so let's get them on over man so that we can get these guys taken care of going to need here is a two cups of water epsom salt general care you're also going to need measuring spoons one for dosing one for actually measuring the epsom salt because we're going to make a three percent epsom salt solution also here you're going to have a towel and with this towel you're going to want to Wet it with tank water. And this is where you're going to take care of the fish. And the, and the reason for doing this is you don't want to harm the fish. You, want, you don't want to um, mess with the slime coat at all. 
Okay, guys? So, stay tuned, and we'll get straight into it. Now, as you are doing this, you're also going to want to make sure that your hands are not dry. You're going to want to make sure that your hands have been uh, dampened with tank water as well. This too protects the slime coat of the fish. So here's what we're going to use. We're going to use one tablespoon, which is going to be used for measuring the Epsom salt solution. And we're also going to use a dropper. This dropper is plastic and it is rounded at the edges as you can see here it is not sharp at all this too is to protect the fish and you can pick these up at CBS um, Walgreens or anything like that okay so this is a plastic dropper that has a rounded edges it doesn't have anything that will infect the inside of the fish no sharp edges blah 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 now to make our Epsom salt solution what you are going to need is two cups of water. And this is a 3% solution that you're making. And two tablespoons of salt. If I can ever get it out of here. one fairly simple guys that's two now you want to take this and dissolve stir this around until it is completely dissolved And you're going to pour this right back into your measuring cup. That should be your 3% solution. Now, your next step is going to be the general cure. Okay, guys, with this, you're going to want to use one dosing spoon. If you buy a measuring spoon, it's the smallest spoon on the assorted spoons. Okay, so we're going to use five milligram dropper. Make sure there's no air bubbles when you do this. Okay. That's taking too long. So what you want to do is put a tad bit of the 3% solution in. And with the API, you're going to want to put one level scoop. Mix this up as well. Make sure that it is thoroughly dissolved. Draw some up into the dropper. <coughs> Okay, so now we have our dropper ready. Keep in mind, guys, your hands need to be damp in order to not affect to affect the slime coat of the fish.
So what you're gonna wanna do is, gently lie the fish on top of the towel. And when you insert, make sure that it is past the gills and going directly into the gut. And you wanna be very sensitive and careful when you do this. It has to go past the gills and into the gut, otherwise it won't work. If any of this solution comes out of the gills or back out of the mouth, it's gonna be worthless to you. So let's get, let's get this guy back in. And you wanna do this for at least three or four days. Fish should start accepting food within that time. If not, keep the process up for like a week or so. Again, you wanna gently slide past the gills directly into the abdomen of the fish. Okay, I'm gonna get these guys into the med tank and I'll keep you posted as to their progress. But that's pretty much it, guys. General Cure Epsom Salt. And don't forget you need to make a 3% solution. Also, it is very important that you have your measuring spoons Okay, guys, that's it. Remember, the opinion that you follow should be your own. Simply take this video as a second opinion from a complete stranger online. And as always, until the next one, you know the rest. I F G P.